others. Make the whole call off, she fucking your brother. We sharing these hoes, cause we come from the gutter. So that's my brother, can't tell on each other. Can't do the internet beef, that's for the police. Hooked up a hot box, now I'm around 4D. Talking that shit, boy, you gon' have to show me. Swim with the sharks, but this shit get too deep. Hanging with takers and steppers. Real take a bender, we the new Rockefeller. Most of my niggas is fellas. You burning me down, but you told a Beretta. Don't Shit show. Shout out to the barber in Dallas, cause he went slow. Ricky slut. Ricardo. Oh, shout out Ricky, that's my boy. Yeah, shout out to Ricky and his comrade, cause his comrade cut me. Yeah, yeah, for sure, Ricky. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Hey, bro, like for people who don't know, who we got in front of the camera right now? Man, yeah, they real taker, man. I'm, I was born in New Jersey, but I grew up in Atlanta. You feel me? Well, the east side, Decatur. For yeah. sure. You feel me? That's where I grew up at. Damn, so when did you move to Atlanta from New Jersey? When I was 11. Okay. How was that transition like for you? Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. It really supposed to be better. You feel me? Because, you know, Jersey fucked up. So we came down here. God damn. Motherfucker had that took everything we had. So soon we moved in. Like, the first day nigga kicked out the window and took everything. The first day y'all came to Atlanta? The first day. We stayed on Glenwood, a street right out Glenwood, behind the salt, man. Nigga got down, hit our shit, took everything, bro. He even took, you know, the shit you keep the soap in, you wash your hands and shit, soap this shit. Niggas even took that Ruined shit. Ruined our meal. Damn, Damn that, that shit. Damn, so what was going through your head? Like, were you? So, so, so from down, so from down, that shit. Oh, you know, Mom Deuce was ready to get the fuck on. But we adapted. We adapted. And from there on, I started kicking the hoops. Like, not just because that shit happened to me, but I was around and shit. Like, I'm seeing what the hell going on, you feel me? Yeah. And kicking the old shit, that was going on, get some money. Cause my mom do, my mom do take care of me back then, but my mom do not that mama that, that's giving you no money. Like, you know how, you know how niggas is, bro. We need our own money. For sure. Some shit. Damn, you know, that's... I just do it, bro. Kid, though. For sure. Damn, so what got you into making music at this point? Shit. Goddamn, gotta tell you. Gutter Tay used to be making beats and rapping this shit back in like seventh, sixth grade. Gutter Tay was already doing this shit. So when I went to goddamn Columbia Middle, shit, I met goddamn Gutter Tay and my boy Poo Poo, R.I.P. the club. Goddamn, he already used to be putting shit together, rapping in the living room and shit. He figured out the little laptop shit. Yeah. And shit, nigga. Mom, goddamn, all of us used to be on that one big ass script, bro. You feel me? Camera or some shit. You got the other end with flash shows, but all this shit combined. You feel me? So, all us together, really. Hey, so for people who don't know, how long is that ex that street? Camera, Camera Road, man. That shit got down. You got down, man. You got South Camera. That shit start like from the city of Decatur, and that shit go all the way down to like goddamn past South Cab Mall and shit. Right. And it stopped right there, like by the McDonald's, but shit. It turned into Flash Show Park, but that shit, it's all like on the same shit. So that shit counted too, bro. You feel me? Cause right. we all right got together. For sure, for sure, bro. Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the like the environment out there like? Is it like is it like gang infested or what? What's what's out there? Man, that shit is lovely, bro. It's just I'm just gonna be real with you. Like a lot of niggas might say they don't like you. A lot of niggas say they love you. Me personally, I love you. Cause that shit got different, different hustle right everywhere in one spot, bro. So. You can't help but get some money, bro. And on this rap shit, bro. It's easy, bro. <laughs> For sure, bro. Now, shit, you just dropped the visual, bro. That shit hard as hell. You know what I'm saying? It's small talk. This shit called small talk. For sure, small talk. This shit hard as hell. Now, who are your musical influences, bro? Like, who do you, you know what I'm saying? Who you get inspired by with the music shit? Shit, bro. Be real with you. I used to, I used to, I used to listen to a lot of like dip shit, shit like that. Cause I'm from up north, bro. You feel me? So, but then I moved out here. I started fucking with Gucci. Okay. That what I was fucking with. I really fuck with that Gucci hard, that go up shit. That shit just. That shit hard for sure. Oh yeah, I used to fuck with Ali Boy too though. Now hold on, I don't care. <laughs> I, I fuck with Ali too. Shout out Ali Boy for sure. Yeah. Now share, bro. Did you check out the Gucci vs Jeezy versus? What was your thoughts about that? Shit crazy. Just me personally. If I was Jeezy, bro. <laughs> Like not just being like on no tough guy shit. Or it's just about respect with me, bro. Like it's just about respect, bro. Like we can say whatever we want to each other all day, cause we grown. But it's about respect, bro. Like 
If a nigga kill my homie and then I'm right here with you, ain't got to be too Yeah, I put a nigga in the dirt. Oh, nah, oh, but yeah, it, nah, man, I ain't gonna say what I would have did, but I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't have rocked that like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shit so, real, bro. For sure, for sure, bro. That <laughs> shit real nice. Get the blood. For sure. <laughs> Hey, bro, now, shit, like, what, what can we expect coming from you in the next six months? Just be real with you, be real. I'm taking this shit serious now. So y'all can just expect these videos just keep coming back. Because I already got shit in the art job just saved up. I probably got, like, 10, 12 videos put up. Just put up. Fit. Ready to go. Man, ready to go, man. I got this shit rocking not now. Like, got them mall be on my ass about this shit now. So I can't do no trip. But you got them take yeah, this shit Yeah, you know Marlon working hard. Yeah, like, twin, he don't do nothing but. Man, twin, got him, got him caught. You got him caught. You got him caught. You feel me? Like, first hook on you. Get in there. Boom, I'm gonna fuck you sober or not, bitch. Go in there. Yeah. Simple, you feel me? That's hard, though. That's hard. Now, shit, bro, like, going back, how did you link up with Marlon Quill? Man, shit, bro. I met Marlon when I was like, I was in shit. I was in the eighth grade. I was in, so, no, I was in the seventh grade. I was in the sixth grade. But Marlon had done stayed back. You get what I'm saying? My mom posted goddamn in the grade with us that day. But he said stay back. You feel what I'm saying? So I met Mao goddamn on some shit through B-Rock. My boy B-Rock. Goddamn dirty stick. B-Rock really clicked everybody up. Like, Fried dirty stick. Yeah, you feel me? B-Rock really clicked everybody up. Cause I met B-Rock. You feel me? That was my buddy. I used to go to B-Rock house. Mao used to be there. That's his buddy. Yeah. Bit, man, this shit since we were like, like 13, 14 years old, bro. And Quill was little bro. I'm be real with you, we ain't, like, little bro couldn't even used to get on them songs back then, like, that's on God, bro, when Ploy and Ma used to be rapping, little bro used to go do his own thing, that's no cap, but he stayed on top of the music shit, that's why that shit worked out, just for the... So, but we lost a couple buds behind this shit, but you know this shit, not this shit. Man. Yeah, for sure. But like, like you know what I'm saying? Not to get to too too many details, but how does that affect you? You know what I'm saying? Like your livelihood. But this shit affect me big, boy, cause it's like shit. But like, bro, you got thing like you just with a nigga every day. You feel? Then I lost my boy while I was locked up. So it's like this shit fucked me up even more. Feel me? Like damn. <laughs> then it be like this shit be right around the area, bro. You feel me? Like this shit be right there, like. So like, how how close? Like you know what I'm saying? Like in Atlanta, obviously it's rivals out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might be with the ball right down the street. Yeah. No, that's why I was like God, that. You feel me? Like yeah. that's why. That's why. That's why I was like so many guns. Like, like you might see a nigga. You might, bro. You might see a little nigga with a gun, bro. And he's like, how the fuck he got a gun? Cause he need a gun. That's just real. So I'm gonna be real with you, big bro. Like you need a gun, bro. It's just real, like. Now let, let me ask you this, bro. If I, if I don't never fly to Atlanta. If you could, if you could, like send a message to the youth, you know what I'm saying, that's coming up in the same position that you came up in. What would be your message? But my message to the youth right now. Like how I'm feeling right now at this moment about my younger generation. Man, you got goals, the right goals, not no negatives. The right goals, but stick with it. Cause I promise you, bro, I promise you. Yeah, people say this shit all the time, bro. Chase your dreams, follow your goals, bro. This shit come from me, bro. I done been in prison, I done at a young age, man, bro. You feel me? So. I done sat and thought, bro, and got it together, bro. Like, I done got it, this shit together, bro. Like, and I wish I would've stayed, like, just real nigga shit. I wish I would've stayed with school shit. Cause that shit come with shit, bro. Real shit. Like, but, man, just my word to you, bro. Just stay down with your goals, bro. If it's the right shit, bro. If it's the right shit. The negative shit, leave it alone. Bro. Shit ain't gonna get you nowhere. I promise you. I promise you. Even if you had. Man, even if your ass got them scamming, buddy, you might thank you all, but you ain't doing that. I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you, bro, it ain't nothing like the right way, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. You scam, bro. That shit, you gonna just be spending money. All these niggas who scam just be buying shit. These niggas might buy a goddamn, bro, I'm finna tell you. These niggas might buy a goddamn $2,500 goddamn keychain, bro. Just a little keychain, yo. So shit, your light go on. Like, nigga just be spending money when they scam, bro. Damn. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't never seen no type of scam. Yeah, and I always, bro, just be real, bro. Not getting probably, niggas in my business, but. Cause that the past. Yeah, that shit have never happened. But I used to literally <laughs> running for a house, bro. Like, 
And bitch, bro, you know what this shit come with? A nigga could be in there hiding or anything. Kill your ass, or you might have to kill them. Either way you go, with this shit wrong. Right. Yeah, sure. so that's why I'm telling y'all. This sure. shit. The negative shit, just leave it alone. For sure, bro. And I got, I got one more question for you, bro. Since it, it, it happened in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? The Quando Rondo, King Von situation. When you first found out about it, what was your initial thoughts? I ain't gonna lie, this shit fucked me up. This shit fucked me up. The reason I say that is because I got a little buddy named Wacko who I met in Chain Gang. I love that little nigga. He from Savannah. From the Rondo, that's his buddy. King Von. I caught a vibe with them niggas first day around them niggas. Yeah. Like, there's some real ones. Like, <laughs> like shout at King Von. Nigga, dirt go to the bathroom, take a piss. Nigga, King Von at the door, nigga. Waiting on him to come out. Nigga, like, he on duty, like, shower duty. Like, we down the road. Like, this nigga doing shower duty, nigga. Like, that real love, nigga. That's your real shit. One of my, I'm just gonna be real with you. One of my buddies coming to me right now, like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm like, all right. Check, you feel me? Like, you get what I'm saying? Cause we vibe that. It could be high here, all type shit, but shout to be on it. Like, you catch a vibe when I'm so quick and you're a real one. That shit fucked me up. She just I ain't right, but shit, shit happened.